one and all, and welcome to my new series, Lady Top Hat's High Horse. In this series, I will give my opinion on games that I have played and then rank them according to a highly convoluted and elite scoring system. <laughs> Super! In my last live stream, I played The Turing Test. This game is a puzzle game that was released in August 2016 by Square Enix. It was developed by Bulkhead Interactive. I found the Turing Test during the Steam Winter Sale because it appeared on my discovery queue. It was recommended to me because I like puzzle games. I bought the game because I was drawn to three key elements. Firstly, I'm a big fan of puzzle games such as the Myst series. Secondly, it looked similar to Portal and I love playing the Portal games. Finally, it's set in space and I am a huge sci-fi fan. Did I mention I used to train astronauts? Have I mentioned that before? Anyway, in the Turing test, you play as Ava Turing. She is a member of the International Space Agency. She is an engineer and she's been sent to Europa, which is one of Jupiter's moons, to work at a research station. She's woken from sleep by a supercilious robot called Tom. And quite frankly, he's very dry compared to Wheatley. The game progresses as a series of rooms through which Ava must navigate using energy blocks and an EMT, some pistol type device for shooting energy ball thingies, and various electrically powered components. Backstory is provided by Tom, who slowly reveals what the rest of the crew have been up to and why all these tests are in place. And now I shall get on my high horse. The Turing Test is a test developed by Alan Turing in 1950 of a machine's ability to distinguish between intelligent behavior from a computer or from a human. However, Alan Turing worked at Bletchley Park, Britain's code-breaking centre during World War II, where he devised a number of techniques for breaking the ciphers of those scallywag Jerrys. Surely a game featuring a character named Turing should involve cracking ciphers and be based in jolly old England. Not some far-flung corner of the solar system running around with a silly little pistol and picking up boxes? <laughs> right, I shall get down off my high horse now. Time for the scoring! There are nine categories for scoring and each category has four different levels. The four levels score from zero to three and each level has an amusing icon to represent that level. <laughs> so let us begin! Category 1 is Playable Female Characters. The Turing Test has one playable female character, Ava Turing. This is the Darcy Stern level. And that comes with a score of 1. Category 2 is Story. The Turing Test has a good story, with elements of space travel, adventure, philosophy, and puzzle solving. This is the Mass Effect level, <laughs> which scores two. <laughs> Category three is challenge. The Turing Test has simple controls, but challenging puzzles. I even had to consult the walkthrough on a couple of occasions. But it's not so frustrating that I had to rage quit. This is the Skyrim level, which scores two. 
Category 4 is music score. The Turing Test has no music score to, to speak of. Just some eerie sound effects and that very annoying AI. I gave this the rusty harmonica level with a score of zero. Category 5 is graphics. The Turing Test runs at a full 1080p and it therefore reaches the 1080p level. And that scores three. Category 6 is cost. Currently, Turing Test costs $20 on Steam. This is probably too much. However, I picked it up during a Steam sale for half price. In which case, the price was just right. At the Downton Abbey level of cost, that scores a three. Category seven is distribution platform. The Turing test is available on Steam with full achievements, trading cards, the full thing. And therefore, this is the highest accolade any game can aspire to. And so it gets another three points. Category eight is <coughs> top hats. Sadly, there are no top hats in this game. It appears that there are no top hats in space. Rubbish. That scores a big fat zero. Likewise, category nine is horses. And there are no horses in this game either. So yet another zero, I'm afraid, for the Turing test in category nine. So, the Turing test receives an overall score of 14 points. All that's left to do now is wander back through the patron gallery and acknowledge all my dedicated patrons, especially Ledger Balance, Datchet, Resher and Born, Zalrock Chaos and Lars Co. Please tell me what you think of the first episode in this new series in the comment section below. If you liked the video, do think about subscribing and give that like button a friendly crack of the whip. Bidding you a fond farewell, Tally Ho!